Welcome today all the nerds and all the geeks and all the derps and everyone else who wish to have Mavericks installed on their regular computer doesn't matter if it is AMD doesn't matter if it is Intel well make sure you have a 64 bit capable AMD or a Intel processor AMD processor anything above Athlon 64 is perfectly supported including the FX series the best supported are the Phenom and Intel Intel anything about core 2 Dio is supported and let me tell you guys all the Intel i series like for example the first generation the second generation and the third generation and the fourth generation they has well are perfectly supported with inbuilt graphics also working well AMD APUs are supported like the operating system is supported but the problem is when it comes to the embedded graphics on the processor so if you have a AMD APU you might not have on board like on chip graphics functional in Mavericks you might have to hook up an external graphic card for that so most of the guys you know you know what to do in order to get the external graphic card well if you get one then you can have one so today I'll be using AMD Phenom 2x6 1055T uh, to show the installation it's the smoothest and the fastest system I have with AMD and AMD Athlon I've tested it perfectly and it works awesome so I'll, I've shared a link of my Google Drive uh, in the description and there it is so when you have to download this folder OSX Universal Maker and so you'll have this you'll have all these files starting from chameleon instructions kiss mega uh, kiss stands for keep it simple silly guys and that's me well look at this pic ain't it good like the DSLR which I just bought for some purpose okay well not wasting any more time so what you need is a USB drive of 8 GB and above so once you have it what you'll do is go to disk utility disk utility and hook up the pen drive well hang on a second while I get my USB drive USB drive. Oh yeah, they found it. Sorry for the delay guys. So let's get started. Voila now I connected my USB drive and Yeah, there it is. I already have made everything and it's fully functional. So what you got to do is select your USB drive in my case this and then go to partition Partition click on this and then click on partition well click on partition layout one partition and then you'll come here a little bit right name it whatever you want and then go to options in the options you'll choose this option master boot record click ok and then you'll click apply I'm not gonna do that because making the USB drive frankly takes a lot of time so I'll just skip this and I showed you what to do. I'll create one partition with any name you want and just type in the name here then you'll be done. So once this is done, uh, you will have your USB drive in a fully clean and new state. So uh, the next thing that you want to do is use this application. Well, OSX Maker and then you have to go and kiss Mega, Applications, Utilities and My Hack. Well, sorry guys, I know you couldn't see that. Kiss Mega and applications once you open applications you have utilities and then utilities you have my hack open my hack enter your password Pokemon uh, create okay enter password click on create OSX installer okay install this okay well select the USB drive click OK and then browse manually and you uh, you will browse manually and look for this wait let me show you how the setup looks like to some people who do not know how to do it so desktop okay yeah there it is and your setup should look somewhat like this I've downloaded this from uh, app store so it should be something like this so you'll be selecting and opening this I'm not gonna you'll click on this open I'm not gonna do that now because it frankly takes a lot of time so it'll take around uh, uh, 40 to 40 minutes to half an hour and after that the whole process will complete 
in between the process they'll ask you do you want to enable MBR support you'll just click no because MBR is having really stupid problems so no MBR okay guys no MBR quit so once that is done and uh, you have something named like OS X 10.9 my hack disk I just rename that to what I want in my case because the official thing is keep it simple silly so I name it kiss mega so uh, keep it simple silly should have these files these files okay guys all these files so what you wanna do is keep this aside open your OS X universal maker and in this open kiss mega you'll have all these files so uh, follow this carefully copy these files like these raw files and paste them here and you'll actually these files won't be existing already as they already exist so I'll just skip this for now so and after that similarly applications were in applications utilities and here applications utilities these two files sorry guys I couldn't show you that okay so applications utilities you have these two just copy items sorry copy items and this is your USB drive that you just made the same location applications utilities and then you paste those two here while pasting this a special thing you know you'll just replace replace okay it'll say you don't have permission enough permission to copy these two files well you just have to enter your password first then it'll sometimes you know it'll, you, it'll give you some problems it'll give you like it's not allowed and all you just have to keep clicking okay 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 and okay that's not a big deal guys you probably know what to do you'll think that it won't work and all but you just have to keep keep clicking okay yeah there it is it comes here now the operation could not be completed because you do not have permission to access some of the items you just uh, it's just simple you just have to click okay 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 just keep clicking okay for a while you can barely look behind that it's copying I know your mouse will be enabled or something like that but don't worry guys this actually works it'll take a while you just keep doing okay okay and okay and sometimes which just happened it'll actually give you an error like it'll get stuck in a place you can see there it's barely stuck so in this case you cannot copy it the clever thing to do is just pull out the USB drive okay and then reconnect your USB drive well when you reconnect it it should pop up soon where's my USB drive wait yeah let the USB drive come and meanwhile meanwhile you have what you have to do is restart finder wait let me show you relaunch so everything should be new perfect okay so what you are going to do is open your USB drive again that is skip mega and then while that's coming up hold on for a while wait why is everything disappeared no so there it is the USB which I'm using is extremely slow so don't expect similar results see yeah so what you're going to do is delete the I'm gonna delete my files first then copy it over this really important process so I'm taking so copy paste it here authenticate password okay and this time it should come like reasonably better so copying copying make it fast make it fast make it fast okay you don't have permission so just click ok and you see this time after the ok it actually you know resume this happen around thrice or four times okay 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 yeah just th that's how it happens you just have to click ok you can't do anything else so five seconds remaining it should again ask if uh, I'm right well see now it copied perfectly and similarly the other files too these are the most important files right let me sorry so applications in a uh, system so you'll find this system uh, inside the system folder you'll find installation look for the 